What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. And I'm just back here at base doing a little bit of busy work. While I'm going to get back to the horde base today, we're going to be doing some more building. Um, we'll be doing one more building video, this video, and then the next two videos after this will be loot run stuff. Um, I am going ahead and making a bunch of bullet casings. Um, I have a good amount of iron, um, a decent amount of steel. This thing's making more steel. Uh, this thing right here isn't doing anything because I need more stone. Um, although I guess I could cook all the stone out of here. I don't like cooking stone out of here though without putting more stone into it. So I'm going to like leave that alone for now. Um, I'm also making some sand and some more concrete mix. What was I making in here? Nothing. Spotlight. We need more spotlights. I'm going to be streaming this game this weekend for sure. And I got to do a lot of grinding. Like um, a lot of wrenching actually. I'll probably do a lot of wrenching uh, over the next two videos as I'm doing loot runs. Uh, we'll probably do loot runs through the night. And um, I'll do some wrenching. I'll, I'll cut the video though when I wrench because, you know, it's a little boring. Um, I also think I want to put another point in the salvage operation when I get a chance. Because um, I'm going to need lots of blade traps, lots of dart traps, a lot of stuff that I'm going to need this stuff for. We're going to go hard into the intellect tree. Um, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to go hard into the intellect tree as well. Because um, that'll allow you to use less resources, I think. Um, events engineering... Uh, all forge recipes cost 10% less. Craft forge steel, electricity devices, and electrical devices cost 15% less. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal! Alright, so we're looking pretty good now. Let's get back out to the base. Um, I am gonna... Oh, yeah, I've also been making some sham chowder. Um, just off stuff I've been buying off the, um, off the trader. I've been buying corn, I've been buying potatoes. I gotta keep buying corn and potatoes. Because this is a phenomenal thing to have. But we're not going to eat that today. What we're going to do is we're going to come on in here in our food chest. Man, that truck is so loud outside. Get the hell out of here. Um, we're going to go ahead and take one of our vitamins. And then we're just going to eat the rest of our sham sandwiches. Now, these are used for something. But, yeah, they're used for moldy bread. Eh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat them. I'm going to eat them. Moldy bread's used to make uh, things to fight infection. So, I think we'll be okay. We'll probably find a lot. Freaking... What is that? Is that a garbage truck? It's not garbage day. Hey! Hey out there! It's not garbage day! Um, somebody said I had parts to make a bow. But I'm not really sure what they were talking about. They said I had parts somewhere in the last video. But I'm not sure where they meant I had parts. Do I have parts in here for a bow? I usually sell them. I mean, I guess I could buy them back. Yeah, we've already made our decision. We're going with the, we're going to use this crossbow. And we'll get some explosive bolts when we get a chance. Or maybe we'll make some. Do I actually... Can I actually make them? Um, yeah, actually I can. <laughs> actually, stop saying actually. Um, exploding arrow, exploding crossbow bolt. There you go. So I can make them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we're gonna need a lot of this iron for, um, upgrading, uh, the iron bars up top. But they're not iron bars just yet, but I need them today. And, uh, that brings you guys just about up to speed. I think I'm gonna get back out to, uh, the horde base area. And let's, uh, let's get some work done. You know, I'm debating if I want to put up the fourth tower or not. Um... Am I really that low on cobblestone? Ooh, I didn't realize I was that low on cobblestone. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I won't put up the fourth tower then. Man, I feel like, I feel like I've misplaced cobblestone. <laughs> I think I'm going to look for it uh, in between cuts. Um, oh, you know what? I know there's some in my bike. Let's go in the bike and get the cobblestone. I'd really like to put up the fourth tower. But, man, that's... um. You know what? It might be doable, actually. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I was going to say. You know what? Yeah, to hell with it. Let's put up the fourth tower. Why not? I want to. I want to have all four corners of this thing done first. Yeah, you know what? You just spoke truth, Cage. Get all four corners of this thing done before you put up the fourth tower. So, how do you guys think this uh, base is gonna work? I mean, without demolishers, you know, the zombies really don't stand much of a chance. But I am getting. I am the game stage thirty. I'm just about halfway to demolishers, you know, game wise. So, that should be a lot of fun. Alright, so first things first. We gotta go ahead and put these in there. And I think we also have to dig out the floor. Which is great, because I'm gonna get stone. I'm gonna get uh, clay. I'm gonna get um, sand. Everything I need. It, it's everything It's everything a growing body needs. And by growing body, I mean my body. So my body doesn't get killed. Freaking absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think it's gonna be too much of a problem until demolishers start coming. This uh, I gotta remind myself. I gotta keep reminding myself because I keep like I don't think about it. But the fact of the matter is, this base design is meant to have parts of it fail. It's built. This whole thing. This is even. This is not even the main part of my base. 
This is the compound. The inside, the inner sanctum, is going to be the Bloodbath and Beyond version 3. Um, version 3 is a, a standing, you know, uh, fill-in title. Um, a placeholder title. Hoping to think of something better than <laughs> version 3, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Alright, so there we go. And now we need the arrow slits. Like so. And like so. Yeah, this whole thing, like... It's going to be a very grindy season for me, but it's going to be a fun season, and that's all you can ask for. All right, so that's going to be the tripwire. That's going to be the um, dart trap and electric fence. Yeah, electric fence there. And I believe that goes like that. And then this goes like this. No, no, that's a that's a slope block. We are going to need more flagstone blocks, please. Please craft me up a hundred, if you wouldn't mind. All right, so this one's going to be the ramp. Yeah, the ramp is fine there. God, I hate it when I can't see it. Uh, copyright. No, not copyright rotation. That doesn't help. Advanced rotation. And there. And there. Beautiful. Um, is that right? I believe that's right. We'll just pick those up so I don't get confused. Yeah, uh, the dart trap in the... I could put down the tripwire, actually. There we go. Can we make dart traps? I forgot. We can. Oh, see, we need to really farm, though, man. We're getting electrical parts, we're getting oil, mechanical parts. Ooh, it's gonna be expensive. Alright, so I want to put all this stuff down before I upgrade because I want to get all that experience all at once. Because that is awesome. But can I do that? I mean, it's more rebar frames, too. Alright, so that goes... Uh, can I reach that one? I can. I can reach that one. Uh, if I put that down, I can't reach it. So... Alright, this is what we're going to do. We're going to leave that open. And we're going to build... It's only too high, right? Yeah, it's only too high. Alright, here we go. Let's get some experience. Come on. Come on, keep the experience train rolling. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Not too much experience, but some. There we go. Looking good. We only have one more of these to make on this side. And then this tower's, like, done, pretty much. Except for upgrading. Let's do the floor. See, this is why you put arrow, this is why you put arrow slits everywhere, even if you don't necessarily need them. Because you never know when you're going to need it to get to someplace, right? And they're just as strong. So, you're not losing anything. Okay, let's build another one over here. Alright guys, these are all built. And let's just go ahead and hook everything up. Oh, there must be some zombies banging on this thing. I was thinking about digging pits around these. Um, the problem is, if I dig pits around these, like uh, it's going to really close in the area even more. Um, well, maybe. Maybe well, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will. Because if I dig a pit, like this... If, in order for this to be behind a pit, it's going to really squeeze this. This area. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. Because I, I really would like to dig a pit around these just to make them, you know, all that much more... Um, what's what I'm looking for? Discourage the zombies from, you know, going in there and screwing with things. Alright, well, let's go ahead... And do that, and we're gonna do this as well. Okay, now get up on here. So that goes, I'm just gonna copy exactly what I did on that other one. And just go ahead and cross here. And you go right there. And then across here. Okay, and you go right there. Okay, I need to get inside these up and yeah let's just go around i was gonna nerd pull up there but i'm like eh, hey. oh no that entrance is annoying to get in there because i haven't finished it yet never mind i'm gonna go in like this the hell with it should be easier well maybe <laughs> yeah that is easier okay all right anything in here i'm supposed to grab let's grab that clay i'd like to keep all the clay together oh look at this look at this guy Better not cause any trouble. Alright, 
so we come down here oh there we go come down right here and opposite like that yeah let's do it like that and then like that and like that all right let's hook all these up we will have four electrical fences surrounding this uh for day 21 which is really good i feel like that's kind of ahead of schedule for what i've wanted to do all right so can this go to multiple things should be able to right yeah it looks good actually i got a better idea now i don't expect these to get broken out so i will daisy chain these together just to make the the you know the wires look a little better and if worse comes worse and they do get broken out then i'll just you know deal with it there we go yeah, because it just looks better like that. Otherwise, I'm going to have freaking wires coming out of the middle all the way around. It's just going to look stupid. Although, does it really matter? No, it really doesn't. Are these really going to get broken out, though? Like, this block would have to get broken out. There's no They can't destroy things from the from the outside with this. This is pretty high. I guess if a cop happened to puke on this exact... You know what? Why don't we just upgrade these blocks? So, if a cop happens to puke on that exact block, I really don't expect that to be an issue. But, you know probably be better to just uh yeah that'll work all right cool um i was debating setting up the next tower but i don't think i'm gonna do that i think i'm gonna actually uh work on the roof of this thing and debate i'm gonna debate in my own mind in between cuts if i want to dig out around these um uh, around these um these bunkers because i i kind of think i do but i really don't want to squeeze the way the zombies are coming into the whole setup uh any more than it already is we could probably dig some of it out and maybe leave the... Yeah, oh, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Let's work on the, the roof first, though. All right. Look at all this wood I'm getting back. Huh? Huh? All right, so we're going to need a lot more... Uh, Where are they? We're going to need a lot more of these wood frame blocks. I'm just going to make 100. Kind of low on wood. You know, I brought my chainsaw, though. I can get that if I want to. Do I want to go out and mess with that zombie? You know, I kind of feel like I do. I just want to see what's up with this guy. I can't go a whole video without killing a zombie, right? What's up, bro? Hey! Yeah, you heard that. They hear the power attack. Oh. There you go. You're done. Well, I just lost about five minutes of footage. I thought I was recording, and I wasn't. Oh, boy. It's going to be one of those days, huh? Anyway, um, yeah, so this is what I wanted to ask you guys. All right, you see these little uh, these tower bunkers, what I call them? Tower defensive bunkers? Tower defense bunkers? I'm not really sure. Um, I was wondering, I, I was thinking about digging trenches around them, but I'm not really sure because I don't know how well it's going to work, okay? So I think digging two wide trenches around these is going to be out of the question because the, I went ahead and set up a little skeleton build of where the bunker over here, there's going to be a bunker on all these towers, right? So the bunker over here is going to come out to this spot so if i'm gonna dig a one wide trench it's got to be here okay so if i dig a one wide trench here a one wide trench a one wide trench there the zombies will have three blocks to get into me to get into my base all right i want them to come through here these are the these are these are the kill zones the choke points eventually um the towers like these things going in between the towers not really going to be needed right um the the ultimate idea is there's going to be a fence going through here and i want the zombies to walk through here i put blade traps all kinds of stuff i got dart traps set up all kinds of shenanigans but they need to be able to get through here all right so three blocks should be enough probably all right but what i'm thinking is i'm thinking the zombies um if they want to attack this wall they can still do it from here that's why you make the trenches too wide or you know too back um from the wall you're trying to you know guard so what do you guys think um i'm not going to do two wide trenches because like i said it's not going to give enough space although one block here the the ai should path through here and it would man that'd be a hell of a kill zone i don't like that though i want to keep it three i want to keep it three wide um so do I do the trenches or not? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm just kind of curious. I'm honestly I'm going back and forth about it. I'm gonna kind of take a week or so to decide. Um, they don't need to be done for you know next horde night or anything, so not really a big deal. All right, so let me show you what I got going on up here. All right, 
Also, because this this video is so disjointed, because I'm I'm not really sure what you guys heard and what you didn't, since I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But I did go ahead and chop down a lot of trees with the chainsaw. I made a bunch of iron uh, wooden bars, which will eventually be iron bars, and that's what we're going to be working on now. We need to get a roof over ourselves because I don't want to be dealing with these freaking awful, awful vultures. All right, so this is one spot that I was kind of debating on how I wanted to do this. I'm thinking this might actually be cool. No, see, that's not going to look good. No, that's not going to look good on a, on a on an angle like that. Um, maybe maybe um, centered bars. Maybe a wood bar centered. Let's make one one wood bar centered and see if that'll look good. Mm, maybe, maybe. But I'm thinking I want to put a door there too. So let's set up the door and see what it's going to look like. And we'll kind of try and do something here the best we can. So I'll put a door right there. Okay. And, you know, it doesn't look that bad. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Hold on. Let's see. Make a few more of these. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm digging it. I am digging it. And then this one goes right like that. And like that. This one goes up like that. It's going to be a bitch to make the roof, though, right there. But eh, I'll deal with that later. Let's not worry about that right now. Um, so that's supposed to be open. This is supposed to be going out again. One more spot. So let's go ahead and do that. Come on. Come on, bro. There you go. So that's going to be open. So we could copy rotation here, copy rotation here, and that's supposed to be open as well. All right, cool. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make this all two levels, and then I'm going to start upgrading uh, the pieces below. Uh, so when the cops come in, I, my you know the the stuff below me. Actually, I should do the ones down there as well. Uh, so when the cops come in and puke, because cops if they puke on these wooden bars will melt them, just absolutely melt them. So we got to deal with that. All right, I definitely had to do that off camera. <laughs> There's a lot of this building that I have to kind of figure out. I kind of know how to do it, but not 100%, and I need to figure out off camera. And I just did, and I think it's cool. And let's just kind of show you what I got going on here. So this is what we're looking at on the inside. I'm only upgrading the corner for now because that's all I really care about at the moment. Um, it feels really bright, though, man. Isn't that weird? Well, I guess it's... You know what? It's probably because of these. Right? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Go ahead and put these away for now. All right, so we're not going to need the centered, and we're not going to need those or those. And I'm going to hold on to the rest of the stuff. All right, so that's what we're looking at. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build it for you and show you exactly how I did it, okay? Because this is like... Um, this is like not easy. I might even stumble through it again, uh, <laughs> but not as badly as I did before. <clears throat> Off camera, that is. All right, so that goes like that, all right? And then it goes up one, so we're going to need to get up there, and we're going to need a ramp block. Okay, right there. And that one can go like that, and this one can go like this. Wait, on face, man. There you go. Go like that. And you, my friend, can go like that, all right? Now, on the inside, we do the opposite, right? So, like that. And like that. 
Yes, that is correct. All right, and then we've got to deal with the corners now. All right, so it's really, honestly, it's kind of easy. Wood frame, full corner. Boom. And then we need, man, what's wrong with my voice? All right, instead of pausing the video, I just muted my mic. Hopefully that came out okay. I don't usually like to mute my mic because, I don't know, I like to mess, mess up recordings, but should be okay. All right, so that one goes like that. And then we're going to need another ramp. Copy rotation. Another ramp over here. Copy rotation. And that's it. That is it. Then full blocks. And we bring those right across to here. Kind of cockeyed, but that's okay. We'll get there. All right, now we just upgrade these. Look how pukes on these. It's gonna be. A, it's gonna be. Oh, hold on, hold on. We did something wrong. Take that out. All right, and then what we're looking for is an inverted piece. An inverted piece. Um, this one right here. Wood frame inside corner. It doesn't say inverted, but inside corner. And there you go. That's better. All right, cool. Looking good. Hell yeah. I don't think we're going to finish it today, though. Because I want to get out and do some looting. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more doors, though. I do want to make some doors. How many doors? Just make 10. 12. Yeah, make 12. They're cheap. Okay, and then we're going to put a door in here. Like that. Make sure it opens in. It does. Make sure it opens in. It does. In. There we go. In. There we go. Do we even need um things over here? Because if we need to fight, we can just come out here and do it. No. No. It's for throwing grenades. We, we do need we do need that. Alright. There we go. In. In. Oh, sounds like we've got some zombies out there. What's going on? Zombies? Come on. Come on. Oh, we didn't bring a battery. Damn it. Electric fence is not going to be working because we didn't bring a battery. All right. Let's get down there and bash him in the head. That works too. Okay. What's up, lady? Boom. Clocked you right upside your freaking head. Hey, stop ruining my stuff. There you go. Anybody over here? Nope. So this is roaming horde, but I wonder if most of it came by or if it was just a small roaming horde or... What's up, Edgar? There you go. You're done, Edgar. You're done. All right, before we go, I want to kind of put these down here and see how this little grenade toss thing is going to work. I mean, I don't have to actually toss the grenades. I just kind of want to see what it looks like out on the edge. <clears throat> oh, that's not going to work. So, I wonder if the grenade toss is going to be a problem if we bring out two. Yeah, if those come out two, maybe I shouldn't bring those out two. I mean, I really don't need to. I think one will be fine. What I could do is just to make sure I'm safe down here. Uh, advanced rotation. I could just put a little railing here. Like that. Maybe. Just leave it out one. We don't really need to go out that far. And it'll save a lot of um, iron. So how about if it's one out? Yeah, one out is much better. I kind of like one out. The thing is, though, I like the idea of like making this go all the way across down here. Ah, boy, that's a tough call. That is a tough call. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break these out. I'm not going to put doors over here. And maybe I'll just put like a little, I don't know. I mean, I could always, uh, I mean, well, you know what? I could build out from here. That is, that's a tough call. That's a tough call. I don't really know how I want to handle that. Because uh, basically what I want to do down here is I want to have these going all the way across. Eventually. Just all the way across. Just like that. That's the idea down here. I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, but that's gonna that's gonna mess me up with dropping grenades. 
um, or Molotovs and stuff. That's eh, it's going to be an issue. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to think about that. I'm sure you guys will give me some ideas in the comment section too. Either way, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.